Hello everybody, back again, Saul here for another episode of Finding Paradise. And when we last left off, we were on Colin's final flight of his career. He had his family come into the cockpit. And, um... Oh, Neil's in the captain's seat. <laughs> Alright, we're still looking for memories. We need two more memory orbs. So, uh, are you coming with or what? No, I like this view. I thought you were acrophobic. Only when I'm... Only when I'm not inside a plane. How about you go wrap up this memory and I'll join you shortly after. Are you serious? It's on a loop. Yeah, but the picture from this seat's angle is just is absolutely divine. In fact, I pity you or anyone who can't see the way the horizon meets the... <laughs> Don't give me that... What is that? Cabbage? Alright. So, this is after they land then, I guess? Thank you for the lovely flight, sir. Cheers, hope you have a nice day. Hello, little one, hope you enjoyed the... The landing sucked! Uh, yeah, sorry, it was a little rough. Not one of my better landings, the wind was... Oh, and he just left. Regret, bad landing. For his final flight, oh man, that would suck. Alright. Just walk through these people. Interesting. Alright. So now it's just people filing out. Come back in here? No? We're supposed to head outside? Oh, now the people are all gone. Alright. Here we go. Final memory orb. Uh, oh. I thought it was going to be a little cutscene. Oh, a fellow cellist, huh? Here, let me get that for you. Thank you, sir. Yay, are you good at the cello? Huh, <laughs> not really. My wife is the real musician of the family. Beautiful instrument, though. I loved playing it as a kid. Receive note cello. Oh, so he only started playing it again after he retired. Alright. So what's the... Oh, that's the memento, then. Alright. Let's go. Five memory orbs, and off we go. All right, how are we gonna do this? We can do that, I guess. No. Um. Oh, we can do this. Easy peasy. No? Oh. Why did a cello piece stay there then? Weird. Alright. Then, let's go ahead and... Sup? <laughs> Dude, I was just about to... Oh. Okay. Man, there's a whole lot of weird stuff happening with the memory traversals in this one, isn't there? Oh, we're back. Back to being a little kid. Dang. Uh, how did we skip to the childhood memories again? And this time the memento isn't even that book. Is there something wrong with the machine, Neil? Huh? It's not the machine. At least, I don't think it is. Well, I guess at least we know that we can go back now. Let's just hope this doesn't inter interfere with finishing this job. Relax, we'll manage. Alright, we need four memory things. Okay, so he's here. Is there literally anything else left, Miss Miller? Nope. Just cello. This is your instrument, get used to it. Oh, he got forced to play the cello. Loved playing cello as a kid, my arse. Lie, liar, pants on fire. Wow, you belong at a grade school. Your child is jabs aside, Evo, and on an unrelated note, this place kind of makes me feel like I'm on the set of some indie French film. <laughs> uh, what? What about this possibly makes you feel that way? I don't know, just a feeling. <laughs> and the music? <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the, uh, the cello notes. Okay, so, Colin loved playing the cello as a kid, and then the new note is, Colin hated playing the cello as a kid. 
All right. Um. Did I get it? Head out of here then, I guess. Hey, don't push. I call dibs on the violin. It's so light to carry. I'm going to get the flute. It fits in my backpack. And he got a big old chill. <laughs> uh. Alright, there's another him over here that I, that I see. What's he doing? Counting dirt, I guess. Um, oh, it requires three memory orbs, huh? Alright, what about this one? Can we talk to this one that's here? No. Nope. All right. Did you see that? Is he carrying that thing or is it carrying him? Looks looks like just a floating case from behind. <laughs> why is there why are there trees that look like lockers? What's going on here? Are his memories like deteriorating? Huh. I have a feeling these aren't exact replicas from the actual setting. It's as if his memories took quite the creative liberty in mixing things up. Isn't the machine built with public domain data stabilizers to prevent this? Uh, yeah, but maybe broken? Maybe. You're the tech specialist. Yeah, I'll have a look afterward. Okay, remember there were those mini mini episodes that there were that were released a few years ago where he was like developing something in secret, and then, um, and then now the machine like looks different, and he's like, oh yeah, I just took the casing off, but. He's been messing with the machine. We know that, right? Like, So he's done something to the machine that's probably making it act this way. Wow, this is awkward to watch. He's all alone on the seesaw. Eva, why do we get all these losers as our clients? Maybe because you're here, moron. Oh, well, that's a nice compliment under Goss's Law of Magnetism. All right. Uh, oh, we have the three orbs. Now we can go, uh, go back to that door. Huh. So, Neil's been doing something to the machine, and he's been disappearing a bit. He's, like, been wanting to stay behind for some reason. I'm trusting him less and less, honestly. Okay. Let's go in here. He's in class. Miss Parker. Colin? Uh. Colin! Uh, the answer is C. What? Uh. I'll ask you again. What is the radius of this circle? <laughs> uh. Where's your head at, Colin? Go stand out in the hall. Yep, that's. That's the way to deal with a student who doesn't know what's going on, right? Just kick him out of class so he knows what's going on even less. Okay, why can't I move? Oh, oh, I'm playing as Neil now. Why does it switch back and forth like that? Go stand out in the hall. Okay, um, there's a little shiny little asterisk thingy here. Three o'clock? Hmm, that could be our ticket out of here. All right, I think we could reach it if we just... Nah, I got this. Let me find a way. What are you talking about? Let me find a way to get to it. To the clock? Um... What do you mean? What do you mean, find a way to get to the clock, Neil? Um... Hold on. I'll get us to that clock somehow. Seriously? Um... Let me find a way to get to it, but it won't let me leave the room. Do I have to, like, scoot the desk over there? Is that what's going on here? Uh... Am I have to search all these desks, or what? Nothing. 
Uh, how am I supposed to find a way to get to the clock? Like. Alright, now watch this. What's it gonna do? Is that a freaking wand? Wait, you didn't disable the... Mobiliarbus? Mobiliarbus? Uh... Teacher's Deskus. Really? It's Mobiliarbus, not Mobiliarbus. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And... down. What are you doing, Neil? Did you kids just flip and see that? Dude. Reset. <laughs> okay, first of all, disable reactive interactivity before you pull that stuff. And second of all, that's not even how that spell goes. Uh, yeah, it is. Did you see that thing fly? They sure did, you village idiot. Alright, well... Got it. That was weird. It's like a weird, like, side thing. It's like, why did we have to do that? Um, hmm. What? Nothing. I guess I was expecting you to start saying dumb things again. Eva, do you know how draining it is to unleash a Kamehameha and a Hadoken simultaneously? I mean, I know I'm a pro, but even I need my beauty sleep. Oh my god. Alright, well. Got the oh, I didn't want to jump off. Prepare the memento. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff going on here. What exactly am I looking at? Um, I can do this and oh, that's not exactly what I wanted to do, but okay. Um, that's something. We got it. <laughs> Um, three o'clock. Why is three o'clock important? Alright, let's go ahead and activate it. Traverse our way through. Alright, we're back at this house. That clock is where the wedding picture was before. Um, are we back at the old age period again? Well... Yep, sure are. And here it is, the perfect retirement apartment. Mm -hmm. We sure are. <laughs> okay, I think I got it figured out. Hmm? I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. Yep. With all our other patients, we began from the most recent point and gradually traced backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. Okay. For the first few memories in his oldest time, everything went just as normal. But then, we somehow got slingshotted. Yeah, we jumped back over there. All the way to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that and once again leaped back to the older times where we left off. Then to... Oh no, it's like spiraling. Then to the earlier ones again moving forward. And once more to the older time moving backward. These jumps aren't in a random order. Nor do they form just any pattern. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna loop around like that. It's the pattern of a decaying orbit. It's almost as if we're being pulled in. Spiraling towards a gravitational center. Hmm. A gravitational center, huh? Inappropriate context for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh-so-deep event of melodramatic angst that traumatized our fine gentleman? I don't know, maybe it is a memory of that sort, but... Maybe it's something else. Uh, something else? What could be here other than memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients and there's never been a memory that's done this. Alright, I guess at least this one isn't routine, then. Hmm, we'll see. Alright. So let's get to memory hunting. One bedroom with balcony, and there's also an attic for storage. 
How often do you find attics in an apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. I thought the lake is on the other side of the building, though. Yeah, but this unit's on the edge. You can see it if you hold out a mirror from the balcony. <laughs> Here, have a brochure. <laughs> Alright, can we head upstairs? Is that a thing? I see them in the kitchen there. Are they going to be in all the rooms? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, they are. Okay. An attic in an apartment. Isn't it amazing? I think this floor is otherwise reserved for heating and utility units for the building. If something in the building explodes, I guess it probably hit pretty close. Oh no. Okay. I'm trying to feel spooked about the memory leap thing, but this isn't helping. So now they're in the kitchen. And this is the kitchen. If you pay attention to the walls, you'll notice that it hasn't even had one fire accident. <laughs> of course, if it had, the whole place would have been surely... Uh, the whole place would have surely burnt down being an apartment at all. Uh, I mean, of course it won't happen because y'all seem like careful folks, right? I guess what I'm saying is, um, fire safety is very important. <laughs> what a great apartment salesman. Huh? Okay. Is there any special book here? No? Okay. Uh, we got the bedroom. The balcony's out here. And, as you can see, this is why they call this the Lakeview Residence. You can see the other balconies. I mean, you can't literally see because the lake's behind us on the other side, but... <laughs> You extend your head off the balcony to the left, you might be able to see a bit of it. Don't though, you'd fall off. <laughs> okay, on we go. Did that not give us a memory? Hmm, he stayed out here. Um, nothing? Okay. Um, I see the paper airplane. Huh, wasn't this just a brochure a moment ago? Eh, guess he just folded it. What's the issue? Well, if I'm guessing right... Yeah, there we go. Being a memento, it's kind of odd that it came to be without us seeing. Huh. In any case, at least it's convenient I didn't see another way out of this place. We got this talk here. So, what do you think? Well, it is nice and quiet. I like it. Me too, but... I would have liked it better if you just didn't talk for it. <laughs> yeah, that really didn't help at all. If you weren't my cousin's friend's brother, we would have walked out by now. More like ran out. I'm sorry. You guys, I'm not good at sales. So, um, sorry to be blunt, but are you going to take it? Because there's a deposit fee, you see, which technically I could elope with, but I promise I... Stop talking. We'll take it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright. So now they're in this other room here. You said you're a musician, right? This room is perfect for performances. There's very little room for an audience, though, so you'd probably be playing alone. Which is kind of sad, but I digress. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. So we have all the, all the memories. Now let's activate this memento. And... We're done. Prepare the memento. Mm-hmm. Dang. How do we do this? Got to um, do this and push it up. No? Well, I, I can't move this one at all. So I guess we're just going to have to match the three? I guess? <laughs> Alright. We did it. Alright, let's go ahead and activate the memento. And we'll see where it takes us back to another childhood memory, huh? Because we're... We're whirlpooling through his life. Yep, 
back on this balcony. Is this why he stayed out on that balcony? Because he used to have this balcony as a kid? It's a good theory. Sling back again, huh? Yep, your theory still checks out. Okay, let's place bets. What? Bets on what's causing this anomaly, you know. Your guesses versus mine. Oh, get a life. Dibs on first guess, then. Bet you ten dollars it's about a girl. <laughs> Suddenly romantic, aren't you? Not just the fact that with these things it's always about some girl. Not everything is about some girl, Neil. Besides, I think we've seen enough from his own memories to say that he's happily married and... Hey! Who's yelling? Um. Oh. <laughs> it is a girl. <laughs> Faye. What you doing up there? Um. Playing with paper airplanes? Yes, you. I see you standing up there like that every day. What are you always looking at? There you are. So, got a name? Uh, you do have a name, right? Colin. What? I can't hear you. I said my name is Colin. Huh? You're Colin what? <laughs> What? No, um, let me just... Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Take his dog inside. Is he gonna throw it written on a paper airplane? Okay. Just go in there. He's writing his name down, isn't he? The dog's laying on the bed. That's cute. The doggo. It's a rude dog plush. Oh, I thought it was a real dog. Doesn't seem like he's playing with it much. Poor rude dog. See, that's what he, he was. Uh, he had the dog next to him when he was watching the TV earlier. So that's why I thought it was a real dog. Hey, I'm gonna throw this paper plane over. I wrote stuff on it, so just catch it, okay? I was gonna say just speak louder, but okay. Okay, here it goes. Dang, get wrecked, kid. Uh, hold on. <laughs> hmm. Dumb kid has no respect for the laws of physics. He's like mine, dude. Oh, he's like nine, not mine. Hey, it's alright. Uh... You need to concentrate, okay? Just keep your eyes on me and throw as hard as you can. If you try hard enough, I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. Okay, okay, I can do this. Here it goes. And... Oh no... Oh, right in his face. <laughs> bah, you should have seen your determined face. That's not funny. You can't throw it against the wind, silly, no matter how hard you try. What did you think was going to happen? Bah, <laughs> I'm going inside. Okay, wait, wait, don't go. So, Colin, right? I thought you didn't hear. Yeah, well, I think I've actually seen you on the way to school. What does that have to do with... <laughs> you go to one just across with the woods from here, right? Yeah. Oh, well, I go to the one just across the street from yours. The private school? Yep, yep. Lucky. Why? Well, because it's all exclusive and costs money and stuff. Oh, hmm. I guess. People are all snobby there, though. They are? Nah, I'm just trying to make you feel better. <laughs> hey, let's walk to school together next time. Why? Because I like you, silly. You're just the right amount of dumb. 
What's that supposed to mean? Besides, have you heard about the bear attacks in the woods? No, I've only seen badgers. What did you hear? Oh no, I didn't hear anything either. <laughs> but that's why I'm suspicious. It's a little too quiet. Oh man. Anyway, we practically go the same route, right? It'd be good to stick together. I guess so. Uh oh, her parents. <laughs> and he hurries inside. What was that? Hmm? She just ran back in when they came out. Eh, it's not that uncommon for kids to be scared of their parents. Back when I was young, I knew a kid who had a, who had one scary mother. Saw her spanking him with a spatula once, never ate her brownies after that. <laughs> Alright. Note to Faye. Alright. No, I didn't want to go in. I need to end the episode. Um, so, we're going to end that there. Your daily discourse for today is, um... What's your favorite design of paper airplane? Um, you like the really triangly ones? They're like sort of square looking ones? There's, yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below, but that's going to do it for us for today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye! Thank you.